सहास्मी नमो गुरव न गुरो परम शिशुरस्मि गुरोर्मतिरस्ति गुरो मम पाहि गुरो ब्रवीमि संस्कृत वाच ध्यायामि संस्कृत हृदा पूर्वे सेवांचकायन वंदे संस्कृत मतर योनर संस्कृत व्योमी ख्यालय रमते मुदा संस्कृति चंस्कार विंदते नात्र संशय स्वागत ड्यू टू अनफोर्सिंग सर्कमस्टन्स वी हेड a very extended break of two classes for the abhyasa varga but uh, the positive side is you had a lot of time to really go through lesson 1 and whatever has been covered in lesson 2 because i think uh, there's about 80% of lesson 2 is also covered so today uh, the abhyasa is also a little long we'll try and complete whatever we can uh so what we have done is uh, so far in lesson 2 is uh, the bhasha abhyasa uh, in bhasha abhyasa uh, you have learned all the forms of vartamana kala in prathama purusha madhyama purusha and uttama purusha ekavachanam divachanam bahuvachanam sankhyas have been done vyavaharika shabdaha you have done prutikaraha Uh, that is uh, people in various professions prahelika sangrahya vishayah and a little bit of uh, sanskrit vangmay parichayah and katha this is what has been done so we will try and cover um, all the abhyasas as much as time permits let's start with the first section trishu lingesh trishu purusheshu rupani likhata so the one uh, verb has been given which would uh, be in uh, prathama purushah ekavachanam but you have to write the entire nine forms that is prathama purushah madhyama purushah uttama purushah and in columns it is ekavachanam divachanam and bahuvachanam so you totally you get nine forms and we need to do the nine forms so the first uh, uh, kriya padam uh, that was uh, given to you the first verb that was given to you was ichchati ichchati is wishing or desiring so let's see who all are there uh is the voice really low uh let me just see na shruyate chet i will probably then just change my headphones is it really not audible let me just idanim shruyate va is it better now is my voice is my voice better now Yeah, it's fine. Okay. So, uh, let's look at. Uh, there's also a small announcement. Do remind me um, regarding the WhatsApp group for uh, Pravesha. So, I will also be uh, speaking on that. In case I missed it out by the close of the class today, just uh, kindly do remind me about it. Yeah. So let's see who would like to attempt Ichchati. Lakshmi R. Lakshmi Ji, I have asked you. Yeah. Yeah. So Ichchati, a Sarupani Vadati, va? Lakshmi Ji, I am not able to hear you. Lakshmi Ji. yeah are you able to unmute yourself see i am asking you to unmute yes can you hear me now i can hear you now now yeah, friend yeah, i can hear you okay 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 ichchati can you give the forms prathama purusha ekavachanam ichchati dvivachanam ichchatah bahuvachanam ichchanti मध्यम पुषा इच्छसी इच्छत इच्छत 
உத்தம புருஷ இச்சாமி இச்சாவக இச்சாமக சோ த ரோஸ் தட் யூ ரைட் பிரதம புருஷா மத்தியம புருஷா உத்தம புருஷா வி நீட் நாட் அசேட் வென் வி மெமரைஸ் இட் we just memorize it as ichhati ichhata ichanti ichhasi ichatha ichatha ichami ichava ichava so that's the uh, technique to memorize it when you write it in the exam of course i would recommend that you write uh, the uh, forms and uh, when you memorize it you just memorize it uh, directly so that will be an easier way of memorizing yeah very good attempt uh, kindly uh, mute yourself lakshmi ji i'll ஊர்மிலா மகேந்திர பாபு குட் ஈவினிங் மேடம் குட் ஈவினிங் லிகதி லிக் தாதோ லிகதி லிகதஹ லிகந்தி லிகசி லிகதஹ லிகத லிகாமி லிகாவஹ லிகாமஹ yes one second i'm just looking at a doubt as there is no pulling a string on apunsaka linga in the table why the word lingeshu is given in the question uh, it should have probably been uh, trishu purusheshu trishu vachaneshu uh, i think it's an oversight <laughs> it's an oversight the question should uh, should just be uh, trishu uh, trishu uh, purusheshu trishu vachaneshu that would be the more uh, correct one i will have that changed uh, when i upload the ppt's uh, beginning yeah so yes uh, urmila ji good attempt likhati likhatah likhanti likhasi likhatah 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 likhami likhavah likhamah samyak kind of mute yourself thank you thank you most welcome dhyayati geeta ji ध्यायाम प्रवेश Uh, as we go towards lesson 10 there will be a whole lot of forms that you need to start memorizing so i would suggest that you start memorizing uh, one of the key things about the pravesha course is that there is there are lots of things that will require uh, to be memorized so uh, those of you who feel that they are slow in you know uh, being able to memorize because of age because we are learning it at adulthood and all that stuff uh, start doing it write down the forms uh, that is another technique to memorize mm-hmm. but start doing that because the forms at least you know the basic forms present tense etc should be memorized yeah prichati is the next one mm, yeah it's i answered sujata rani's uh, this thing yeah so prichati uh urmila ji i'll lower your hand because uh, yeah sita raman subramanya namo namaha namo namaha vadati va prichati prichatah prichanti prichasi prichatah prichatha prichami prichavah prichamah samya have you memorized it or are you reading it No, I have memorized. I know it. Excellent, samyak, samyak. Yeah, thank you, thank you, Vada. You may mute yourself. Prachati, prachatha, prachanti, prachasi, prachatha, prachatha, prachami, prachava, prachama. Are the forms? 
present tense prichadatu which means to ask the next one is dhavati kaha va kava vadati shyamaha श्री लता जी श्री लता जी नमस्ते आई कैन हियर यू वदती वा धावती धावतः धावन्ति धावसी धावतः धावतः धावामि धावावः धावामः सो व्हेन यू से धावा द धावावः एंड धावामः इट्स साउंडिंग लाइक धावावः सो जस्ट बी केयरफुल ऑफ दैट प्रोनंसिएशन You are consciously changing it. Just at a couple of places, the alpha prana, maha prana pronunciations. I would request you to focus on. But uh, samyak, dhavati, dhavatah, dhavanti, dhavasi, dhavatah, dhavatha, dhavami, dhavavah, dhavamah. Hmm? Samyak. Kindly mute yourself. The next one is vadati. So the, we have consciously given a lot of uh, these words. uh be, so that uh, you know by the time you finish the exercise uh, the pattern should be more or less uh, memorized sujata rani ji vadathi vadathah sorry vadathah vad vadanthi vadasi alpa prana asti bhagini yeah 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 vadathi vadath वदामि वदावह बेनिफिट Uh, that's why we are focusing so much on it. Vadati vadata ha vadanti vadasi vadatha ha vadatha vadami vadava ha vadama ha. Thank you, Madam Sujata Ji. You may continue yourself. Let's go forward. We have Namati Namdhato. Can you mute yourself, Sujata Ji? Yeah. And I will also lower your hand and keep so that I am able to. Yes. Nitya Ji. नमा श्रूयते uh to offer greet to prostrate to offer salutations that is a sense so namami is something we in, uh, hear a lot of times right ramam namami namami gange namami narmade uh, namami narayana uh, nama nirmalam that's a very famous prayer right so namami is very very often seen in a lot of prayers samyak nitya ji kindly mute yourself <clears throat> the next one is yachati यच्छति छाया वैद्य हरिओ हरिओ वदति वा यच्छति यच्छतः यच्छन्ति यच्छसि यच्छतः यच्छथ यच्छामि यच्छावः यच्छामः सम्यक् 
सम्यक् यच्छति यच्छतः यच्छन्ति यच्छसि यच्छथः यच्छथ यच्छामि यच्छावः यच्छामः सम्यक् छया जी धन्यवादः काइंडली म्यूट योर सेल्फ यू मे आल्सो कीप योर हैंड लोअर प्लीज कविता जी कविता नमस्ते जी नमस्ते नमस्ते वदति वा अटति या अहम वदामि अटति अटतः अटन्ति अटसि अटतः अटथ अटामि अटावः अटामः सम्यक् सो अटति इज टू रोम अराउंड अटति अटतः अटतः अटन्ति अटसि अटतः अटथ अटामि अटावः अटाम धन्यवाद थैंक यू लेट से Vasati, who is attempting Vasati? Mansi ji, Manasi Devnath. Namaste, ma. Namaste. Vadati va? Ah, Vasati, Vasataha, Vasanti, Vasasi, Vasa, Vasataha, Vasat, Vasat. Vasatha, Vasatha, Vasat, Vasatha. वसामि वसावह वसामह सम्यक् सो अर्थम अपि जानाति वा डू यू नो द मीनिंग ऑफ वसति रिसाइड रिसाइड टू रिसाइड टू स्टे टू रिसाइड ओके इंटरेस्टिंगली द वर्ड फॉर क्लॉथ वस्त्रम आल्सो कम्स ऑन दिस धातु सो But how Thank how do you. we uh, uh, define it, uh, Bhagini? When we say so Vastram, in English, Vastram, in English, uh, uh, you know the uh, outfit worn by nuns in a convent. You know the term for that? It's called habit. Oh yeah, huh. habit. So the 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 concept is the same to to kind of live in that particular. फॉर्म ओके so the sentence is in one form and you have to write the other two vachanas for that particular purusha okay so one particular purusha and one particular vachana would be given and you have to write the other two forms right so uchitaihi rupaihi riktasthanani purayata so with the correct forms with the suitable forms please fill the blanks that's what it means So let's look at who are the people who have not answered so far. Shrini Vasan Mahoday. Namaste, Ji. Namaste. Vad. Aham Jigrami. A prathamataya. Asya purusha ki masti. Kaha asti. Vachanam ki masti ti uktwa. Tada nantaram. Anyad rupa dvayam api vadatu. So identify what is the purusha and the vachana of this particular sentence, and then give the other two forms. That will be nice. Oh, Ram Jigrami is given. Hmm. Ram Jigrami is uttama purusha. Vachana. Oh, uttama purusha. Ah, uh, vachana means one vachana. Ha. So uttama purusha is one vachana. The reason why I am asking you to identify is because as you go forward. there will come a stage where not only will you be writing sentences on your own but you will also be doing the uh, understanding of shlokas at that time you should be the standard way of identifying any verb in a sentence is the verb is defined by the purusha the vachana and the tense in which that verb is used okay so Understood. whether it is present tense or past tense or whether it is whatever so the okay. tense the dhatu the tense 
the purusha and the vachana is the standard practice which is why we will start practicing this prathama purusha or whatever uttama purusha madhyama purusha we will start and so which are the other two forms that you have the aham jigrava hai is dvyochanam ayam jigrava mah vayam jigramah yeah so avam jigravah vayam jigramah avam is what the two of us yes so we two i mean we you we don't have that dual a number in english so you will have to write it as v2 yes and why am miss we all yeah samyak uttam am shri vasanthade what is the meaning jigrami is to smell smell ghranam ghrana shakti ghrana shakti is one of the indriyas that we have right okay, okay. so ghrana means to smell so grana is also coming from the same dhatu okay grana is a noun form and jigrami is how the verb form in present tense oh thank you madam dhanyavad let's move forward so chhatra tishthatah this is going to be interesting so let's see who's going to attempt it padma ayyagari padma ji are you able to unmute yourself padma ji i'm trying to unmute you i'm not able to yes can you hear me i can hear you now ah dhanyavada dhanyavada so chhatra tishthatah uh what is the uh purusha vachana that's question 1 and then i'll have one more question for you <laughs> pradhama purusha um dvivachanam dvivachanam uh mm. okay so what is chhatre uh, will you chatre. be able to identify the linga of chhatre stri linga stri linga samyak samyak bahu uttamam dhanya <laughs> vadatu छात्रचन फॉर्म ऑफ द आकार अंत स्त्रीलिंग पदम छात्र इंपॉर्टेंट टू बी observe so chhatra tishthati is an ekavachana chhatraha tishthanti is an bahuvachana prathama purusha forms only the next one yeah <clears throat> vayam dhava maha i look at questions in a bit after after completing this exercise and mary ji namaste namaste vadati va uh, yes vayam इज उत्तम पुरुष बहुवचन आवाम अहम धावामी आवाम धावाव वयम धावाम सम्यक उत्तम सो अहम धावामी आवाम धावाव वयम धावाम सो दीज आर स्टैंडर्ड क्वेश्चंस दैट विल कम इन योर प्रवेश एग्जाम so usually what they will do is they will give you this fill in the blanks with three columns and then they will give you sentences like this and you need to fill it up so which is why i have given you uh, usually this would be a five mark question so there would be five such verb forms which you will have to fill up yeah so aham dhavami avam dhavavah so dhav is to would you know the meaning of the the word to run samya samya kindly mute yourself please thank you the next one oh sorry kindly mute yourself ani ji yuva khadathah is the next one uh, <clears throat> somebody whose name is c25 sidrupi i don't know what that means yeah ma'am i am What's your good name? Ma'am, my name is Trupi Venugopalan. 
ಸಿದ್ರೂಪಿ ವೇಣುಗೋಪಾಲನ್ ಓಕೆ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ವದತಿ ವಾ ಕ್ಯುವಾಂ ಖಾದತ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಪುರುಷ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ವಚನ ತದನಂತರ ರೂಪತೆಯಂಬಿ ವದತು ಮ್ಯಾಮ್ ಐ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ಆರ್ ಯು ಟೆಲಿಂಗ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಮೈ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಸೊ Oh, oh, then Sidrupi, you should be going through the videos of the class. This is the Abhyasa Varga, where we are doing the homework class. This is a homework revision class. So the homework was put up in the website and you had to fill it up and come prepared for the class. So the Purusha is given and you had to fill up the blank. So did you have, get a chance to take a look at the exercises that were posted? Yeah, ma'am, I saw it, but I didn't understand anything. Can I get a chance to tell what are the other two boxes? Yeah, like? yeah, please attempt it. Uh, I am... I can't hear you. Yeah, ma'am, I'm thinking, wait. It is not I am. Yuvam is the Dvivachana form of you. not i aham is i yuvam is the dvivachana form uh, for tvam yuvam yuyam tvam yuvam yuyam so okay. tvam is the it is in madhyama purusha ekavachana okay ma'am hmm? so can you attempt it now oh yeah one minute uh, tvam kadati yuvam kadatha ಯೂಯಂ ಕಾದಂತಿ ನೋ ಖಾದತಿ ಖಾದತ ಖಾದಂತಿ ಇಸ್ ದ ಪ್ರಥಮ ಪುರುಷ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಫಾರ್ ಸಹ ಆರ್ ಬಾಲಕ ಆರ್ ಸಮಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಮಧ್ಯಮ ಪುರುಷ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ತ್ವಂ ಖಾದಸಿ ಯುವಾಂ ಖಾದತ ಆಂಡ್ ಯೂಯಂ ಖಾದತ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ರೋ ಇನ್ ದ ಚಾರ್ಟ್ You will, you will have to go through the videos yeah you will have to go through the videos to be able to catch up okay ma'am uh, so in the last one you told that one word called atati and you told that it meant uh, roaming hmm yes uh, the the does brahmati mean the same meaning brahmati also means uh, something very similar Okay. so brahmati what happens is actually there's a very very slight uh, change in the meaning brahmati is when you are kind of roaming without any sense of direction right brahmana it's like you know uh, you're kind of just wandering aimlessly whereas atati is you're kind of ro- say when you're roaming in the park you know where you're going you're walking around the park so yeah. something like that so there's a very marginal difference but atati is also to roam and brahmati is also to wander thank you so much okay. most welcome. welcome dear please practice catch up with the videos then you will kind of uh, be able to get a grasp of this yeah. concept of prathama purusha uttama purusha madhyama purusha and uttama purusha okay, okay. dhanyavadah okay. please mute yourself and keep your hand lowered ಎನ್ ನಾರಾಯಣನ್ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ಮಹೋದಯ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ವದತಿ ವಾ ಮಿತ್ರಿ ಹಸಂತಿ ಪ್ರಥಮ ಪ್ರಥಮ ಪುರುಷ ಬಹುವಚನ ಮಿತ್ರ ಹಸತಿ ಮಿತ್ರೇ ಹಸತ ಮಿತ್ರಿ ಹಸಂತಿ ಸಮ್ಯಕ್ ಸೊ ಮಿತ್ರ ಹಸತಿ ಮಿತ್ರೇ ಹಸತ ಮಿತ್ರಿ ಹಸಂತಿ ಸಮ್ಯಕ್ ಧನ್ಯವಾದ ಪಶ್ಯತಿ ಸೋ ಪ್ರಿಯದರ್ಶಿನಿ ಜಿ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ಬಿ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ವದತಿ ವಾ ಸಾ ಪಶ್ಯತಿ ಪ್ರಥಮ ಪುರುಷ ಏಕವಚನ ಪಶ್ಯತ ಪಶ್ಯತ ಹ್ಮ್ 
अनंतरम साते ताह पश्यन्ति सम्यक सम्यक साते ताह सो सा पश्यति ते पश्यतः ताह पश्यन्ति सम्यक सम्यक पदति काइंडली म्यूट योर सेल्फ एंड कीप योर हैंड लोअर्ड आल्सो Those who have answered, I request all of you to kindly keep your hands lower. <coughs> Ganesh Nayak Ji, Ganesh Mahoday. I don't see you now. गणेश जी राम 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 बदती वा प्रथम प्रथम पुरुष हा हम्म बहु वचन द्वि वचन हा सम्यक तनंतर तह स्मरति हम्म बहु स्मरत हा ते स्मरन्ति सम्यक तो सह स्मरति ताऊ स्मरत हा ते स्मरन्ति स्मरति तस्य धातोः अर्थम अपि वदति वा जानाति वा रिमेम्बरिंग रिमेम्बरिंग धन्यवादः काइंडली म्यूट योर सेल्फ अनिल महोदय अनिल महाराज राम 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 वदति वा Om Nayasi, hmm. and that will be so. That's Yuvam and Yuyam. Hmm. Purusha, Purusha, kaha. What Purusha do you call to Am Yuvam Yuyam? Um. That's three. Uh, one second. I know this one. Um. <laughs> Take your time, oh. no rush. No problem. No problem. Take your time. Take your time. You vam. This hmm. would be uh, in English. What do we call it? Well, in english we have first person second person and second third person, person. Third person right oh. so in english we would call it second person similarly in sanskritam we call it madhyama purushah madhyam purushah madhyama purushah but uh, yeah your uh, the thing from you am um forms were right so could you fill in the blanks with the uh, ni dhatu also sure naya c so, and then the other two forms will be Tuam nayasi yuvam nayase. Mm -hmm. And then it goes just like the others. Hasati or Hasati, uh, yeah, yeah you have khadasi in the column on the screen right in front of you. Right. <clears throat> so it is Tuam Nayasi Yuvam Nayasa Nayataha Yuyam Yuyam. Yuyam. Yuyam Nayasaha Nayas Nayata Nayata. Hmm? Nayata. So Twam Nayasi Yuam Nayataha Yuyam Nayata. Samyak, good attempt. So I will uh, definitely uh, stress upon the fact that all of you, please, uh, you know, if there's been a slight gap in terms of being able to catch up with the portion or in terms of being able to uh, you know learn the forms start doing it because though the pravesha syllabus per se is not uh, very vast but in terms of the amount of things you need to memorize there is a lot and uh, memorizing of all these things at the pravesha level is what will keep you in good stead uh in terms of your command over sanskrit bhasha at least uh sambhashana sanskrit bhasha 
I'm not even uh, looking at a higher level, but at a level where we are able to read basic granthas like Ramayana and uh, Bhagavad Gita on our own, uh, that kind of proficiency if we need to achieve, we need to start memorizing the form. So that is something I will request all of you to do. I'm not looking at questions yet. There's very little that I need to cover. So we'll do that and then we'll go to the questions. Para. Para Mahodaya. Yes, ma'am. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening. Can you say, can you just give the forms? Avam Gaya Vaha. Do you see the screen? Yes, ma'am. Uh, hmm. Ma'am, uh, this is the uh, Uttam Purusha and uh, Dui Vachana. Samyak, extremely good. Tell me. The forms would be Avam hmm. Gayami, Avam Gayavaha, Vayam Gayamaha. Samyak, excellent, Para. So start memorizing so that you become a little more confident. You are saying the right things, but uh, you need to say it with more confidence. So that will come with memorizing. Okay. Spend about five minutes a day. That should be sufficient for you. Okay. Dhanyavadaha Paraya. Very good. Keep yourself muted, please. Vijay Mahode. Namaste. Namaste. Vadativa. Yuyam Bahata. Bahu Bachana. Purusha Kahasti. Madhyama Purusha. Samyak. So we would have Tum Vadasi. Yuvam Vadataha. Yuyam Bahata. Bahata. So it's Tha. Where your tongue kind of hits with force behind your teeth. Yes. So, th, yeah. Yes. So, that will be the uh, accurate pronunciation. So, you can certainly practice it a little bit at home. Tu am vahasi, you am vahataha, you yam vahatha. Would you happen to know the meaning of the word vahasi? I carry. Carry. That's right. Samyak. Samyak uktam. Kindly Namaste mute yourself, Mahuraya. Vijay Mahode. Namaste. So that covers the second lot of exercises. That was a lot of Bhasha Bhyasa that was given, but extremely good attempt. Okay. This part, Sankhya, is also very important as far as your Pravesha uh, exams are concerned. Five marks questions guaranteed will come from numbers in your exam. So sometimes they ask you five marks of numbers and five marks for time. And sometimes they combine it and ask you. But numbers are most certain to come. Point number two is if you learn numbers well in Pravesha level, then there are other number related com concepts that you need to learn at Parichaya that will become easier. So spend a lot of time on this section on Sankhya which will be covered in chapters 2 and 3 in your uh, Pravesha textbook. With that, we move to the exercise. Sanskrit ena Sankhyam Likhata. So I've given the numbers in English. You need to write it figuratively in your book. And what we will do in classes, you could just read out the number in Sanskritam in class. So two, who's going to attempt this? So we'll take, each person can probably, you know, attempt two of the numbers at each time. One second, just give me a minute. Kamakshi Jairaman. Namaste, Bhagini. Namaste. I'll just lower your hand. Yeah. Dwe. Hmm. Six Dwe. Is. Two is Dwe. The next one? Six is Shat. Hmm. Shat. Samyak. Dhanyavada. Huh? Dhanyavada. We'll move, we'll move forward. Can we mute yourself, uh, please? 
ललिता मुद्दस्वामी नमस्ते जी नमस्ते वदति वा फाइव फाइव पंच पंच सम्य नेक्स्ट वन अत्य एट अष्ट अष्ट इति विसर्ग नास्ति अष्ट अष्ट प्लीज बी केयरफुल बिकॉज इट डज नॉट हैव अ विसर्ग इट इज अष्ट अष्ट ओके ओके seven yes. sapta sapta no i have written something shat okay. six shat six oh. we did shat no sometime back we did shat right question 2 was shat remember six is ah. shat yeah 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 another one is wrong what <laughs> doesn't matter please mute doesn't matter please practice at home and you'll okay. be able to get it yeah i request you to please keep yourself muted thank you thank you dhanyawad तेजस महोदय तेजस कार्तिक चत्वारिंशत सम्यक् नेक्स्ट वन एची प्रैक्टिस योर नंबर्स वेल तेजस इट विल बी वेरी हेल्पफुल फॉर यू Okay, okay, धन्यवाद है प्लीज म्यूट योर सेल्फ ओके नाउ लेट्स सी हू आर द पीपल हू वुड लाइक टू अटेम्प्ट नंबर्स सिक्सटी नित्या जी नित्या जी षष्टि षष्टि नेक्स्ट वन लक्ष्य लक्ष्म 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 सॉरी नॉट द वर्ड मार्क लक्ष्म मीन मार्क दट वी गेट द नेम लक्ष्मण वी गेट द नेम लक्ष्मी because lakshmi is imprinted on vishnu's chest right she resides there so vishnu the one who has marked vishnu's chest is lakshmi and uh, lakshmana is interestingly gets his name because he is the avatar of uh, adi shesha and uh, adi shesha is the one whose body is imprinted with vishnu lying on him <laughs> that's how the name lakshmana comes nine would you like to attempt nava nava samyak dhanyawad ha kindly mute yourself please i have not looked at questions i will look at them uh yeah who is attempting it shrinivasan mahoday would you like to attempt yes madam hmm three 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 Next one. Ten. Dasha. 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 No. Dasha. No. Dasha. 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 
హలో హలో వ్యావహారిక శబ్దా వేర్ ఓకే మై నెట్వర్క్ సీమ్స్ టు బి బ్యాండ్ ah uh-huh. so jatharani has a question she is asking me because i am saying vadati va in par prathama purusha why am i saying vadati va and not vadasi va interestingly when it's tvam then it would be vadasi uh, when i am using when i am in my mind internally uh, giving you a sambodhana as bhavan or bhavati then that will take prathama purusha is vadati so when i am saying vadati va i am either saying bhavan vadati va or i am saying bhavati vadati va as the case may be as the gender may be that's why i said vadati va uh, vadasi va would be if i am addressing you as tvam so bhavan is a little more formal which is why i used i i said vadati va and not vadasi va interesting question so like let's look at this linganusaram ritikarana ritikaranam namani sanskritena likhata so the professions that are there ritikaras which you learned in lesson 2 i have mentioned f or m in terms of female or male in the brackets accordingly you need to change the gender and you need to attempt these questions uh, yeah so priyadarshini ji would you like to attempt it yes go ahead yeah potter in female what's the female form for potter potter um i don't remember potter what is a pot in sanskritam what do you call ghatah. a pot ghatah <laughs> ghatah is one uh but when you say potter the word is kumbhakarah in masculine kumbhakari kumbhakari in feminine dhanyavaad okay so practice this it will come dancer in male uh, masculine nartakah 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 so what is the feminine form nartaki ikaradaki dhanyavaad samya kindly mute yourself padma ji sallar mm vikreta vikreta that is not the word given yeah that's not the word given in your textbook vikreta is correct mm. i'm not saying no but i am going by the syllabus of your Pra- pravesha textbook sorry vikraikaha vikraikaha is the book so vikreta is also there in hindi i understand but it comes from uh, yeah so vikraikaha is what is there in your textbook which is why i asked it yeah next one cowherd yeah. feminine cowherd gopalika gopalika samyak dhanyavaad ha kanyavaad urmila ji ram 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 padati va doctor uh, feminine do- doctor female is vaidya vaidya next one fisherman masculine bhivarah he were her next one scribe in masculine uh lipi 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 lipikarah lipikarah samyak lipikarah samyak dhanyavaad kind of mute yourself kind of mute yourself and mary ji namaste namaste gold smith nine suvarnakari swarnakari suvarnakari 
नेक्स्ट वन वर्क मैस्क्युलाइन कर्मकार कर्मकार सम्यक ड्राइवर फेमिनाइन चलका चालिका चालिका ओ सॉरी चालिका चालक इज इन मैस्क्युलाइन एंड चालिका सो इट्स दैट ई का इज हाउ यू सो देर आर सर्टन वर्ड्स वेर यू जस्ट पुट अ दीर्घ ई कार and convert from masculine to feminine there are some where you put a hrasva e in the penultimate and then you put akara so e ka that's how you convert from masculine to feminine so many many different ways of doing that uh yes dhanyavad ha huh? dhanyavad ha huh? one okay uh yeah anil mahoday <coughs> Prabandhakihi. There is no visarga, and it is prabandhika. Oh, prabandhika. Ah, so prabandhaka and prabandhika. So there are certain rules which kind of govern it, which is why some of them have this form and some of them have that form. Uh, you, the best you know way to when? know it is sorry. How do you know when to use? Uh, familiarization. <laughs> okay. At at a pravesha level, at a beginner level, you just kind of take the word as it is, and uh, you keep reading it. Uh, the more you read, the more you get familiar with the uh, flow of the language. I never had. No, I wish there was an easy way of doing it. Would you like to attend the next one also, please? Sure. Um... Cook masculine. धन्यवाद श्रीलता जी राइटर मेल इज लेखक लेखक लिख धातु फ्रॉम देर यू गेट लेखक नेक्स्ट वन डायरेक्टर फेमिनाइन वैद्या and uh, i think uh, uh, vyadha that's a straight forward akara and there are many words which have, which have an ika ending uh, to get those words so you need to observe the pattern and you need to write it so if you look at your textbook also uh, what you have in page 35 in the first section they are ikaranta so you just put an e and you get them and then the second section that is uh, from apadika onwards you have to put ika so they have written that themselves we have to add ika to get the feminine forms of the above they have written it over there so start reading your textbook that's important and next one would you like to attempt please hunter in feminine hunter yeah hunter in telugu i just said it <laughs> जेंडर कन्वर्जन देर इज देर आर जस्ट टू वर्ड वेर फ्रॉम दी akaranta you when you have to convert to the pull from the pullinga you have to convert to the strilinga so you just put an a those two words are uh, right. for doctor vaidya and vyadha there are only two the rest of them it is either e or ika that's how you need to remember it thank you thank you dhanyavad ha so little more practice little more familiarization like i said no easy way geeta ji Oh, this is done. Oh. Oh. Now this is done. So we go to the next one. Prahelika. So Asana. you need to read the prahelika, and then you need to 
explain the prahelika in english so i would request you to just read the riddle right now and then maybe somebody else also can read the riddle and then we will go on to explaining it uh, after that <laughs> okay i had mentally prepared to uh, explain this riddle sure do okay. do so please do so doesn't matter bhagini whatever you say no no say. please do so please do so yeah. go ahead kimichati yeah read it read it out yeah kimichati narah kashyam bhupanam korane hitah bhupanam bhupanam aham aham did i sound the wrong bhagini kashyam it sounded like bhupanam na bhupanam korane hitah ko vandhyah सर्वदेवाणे a king desire in the battlefield uh, ran ranabhumi is the battlefield ko vandhyah sarva devanam who is prayed who is saluted by all the devatas and uh, all those uh, devas diyata diyata eka muttaram for all this there is one word reply please hmm. give us that hmm. yeah ka in kashi one wishes one prays for death mrityu because mm. it is in hindu mythology it is believed that if we, if we die in kashi we are they salvation and so in kashi we uh, we pray for mrityu right in a bat in battle a king desires for naturally jayah that is victory and then uh, Uh, who's uh, prayed, who's saluted uh, uh, by uh, by all by all sarva deva nam is uh, he is um di diyata uttaram ek diyata ekam uttaram so who is saluted by everybody and the reply for all this is mrutyun jaya ha. which is the name of the shiva uh, uh, or mighty shiva who is the, the ruling deity of kashi yes so one small correction that i would like uh, i mean uh, to make is yes, uh, when you said uh, uh, in uh, mythology so it's not mythology it's a culture and it's very much real so the okay. word mythology comes from, has its origins in the word myth Mm-hmm. and nothing about uh, bharatiya sanskriti is a myth most right. of it right. is in fact scientifically proven to be right so yeah. that's my very very humble uh, no, request i'm wrong i'm wrong in saying yeah. that i uh, yeah. quickly came mm-hmm. off quickly came off it I'm comes sorry. because that's how uh, you know that's how the uh, we've ta- we no, need to wait of the words to use it yeah so we need to consciously Yes. ensure that we teach the next generation right right so, bhagini dhanyawad mm-hmm. hai i'm sorry so so it's written as mrityum only because mrityum ichchati so because of the vibhakti it's gone to mrityum and uh, jayah is uh, yeah they because uh, victory is what is desired by any king why will you otherwise want to go to war and the tinjayah is one of the names of bhagavan shiva so which is why the answer is so there are different kinds of prahelikas that we learn in a uh, pravesha i just thought i'll take a minute to go through that so there are some prahelikas Uh, where you pick up um, words so the answer is hidden in the question itself there will be certain types of prahelikas where you will have three different answers there will be certain prahelikas where two answers you combine those two answers you get the third answer 
which is what this kind of prahelika is so there are different styles of prahelikas that you will come across in pravesha it is interesting to see that because uh, these were used to teach children you know uh, some kind of fun games and brain games and brain teasers and stuff like that so do try and observe these points when you solve uh, prahelikas you find all different styles of prahel prahelikas in your parichaya syllabus so since that's been solved we go to sangrahya vishayaha where the ishta devata who was uh, 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 you know uh, the dhyana was done uh, was ganeshah lord ganapati so let's look at the shloka so sangrahya vishayanam ganesha shloka oh, that's two ganesha shlokas that have been taught so uchchehi uchcharya angla bhashayam artham likhata so we will do the two shlokas so who would like to go for it first let me see if there are any yeah there's nothing yeah kavita ji would you like to attempt it kavita ji ha ji i can read this hmm. so what do you want me to say adya yeah, uh, please read this look अगजानन पद्मार्कम गजानन महर्निशम अनेकदंतम भक्तानाम एकदंतम उपासमहे सम्यक् अर्थम अपि वदति वा ना सॉरी आई नो बट लाइक इट्स ट्राई इट्स नॉट अ प्रॉब्लम नॉट अ प्रॉब्लम नॉट अ प्रॉब्लम ट्राई ओके अगजानन पद्मार्कम सो Hmm. The ones that you know, just cover those bits. I didn't hear the description. Not a problem. 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 So I will ask somebody else also to attempt it, and uh, let's see how it goes from there. Not a problem, Kavita ji. Thank you. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, not at all. Not at all. Absolutely not at all. Right. So I'm seeing gans go up and down, so it's like Aunt Mary G. Would you like to attempt it? Yes, please. Yes. Then uh, could you could chant. You could do the ucharanam and then explain it. Agajanana padmarkam, gajanana maharnisham. अनेकदंतमुपास्मे सम्यक अगजानन पद्मक गणेश हु इज लाइक लोटस अर्कम इज सन पद्म इज लोटस आनन हु हेज द फेस लाइक अ लोटस ही इज a gaja born um, ah you want me to re re say like that no 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 in your own words in your own words uh -huh. uh, he is like um, a gaja is a uh, born uh, is like a mountain because he is not moving actually uh, that's not how we need to interpret it see ga comes from you have words like gachati right gachati is yeah. to go that it comes from gaml dhatu where gam is the gam is the usable form of the dhatu gam g so in fact the english word go also comes from this g okay g is to go okay a g is not going immovable, immovable. so mountains are immovable that's why yeah. they are the there is another word for mountains apart from parvata etc mountains are also called as ag okay we all j ja is jayate to be born you have words yeah so jayate so ag ja the ja is in is giving you a sense that it's a feminine okay so ag ja is a daughter so agaja is a son of the mountain and agaja would be the daughter of a mountain i'm talking in terms of a common noun uh, 
it's like right. parvati is the daughter so agaja is another name for parvati because she is believed to be the daughter of himavan yes yes correct or himalaya so that is why she is called agaja so uh, agaja anana anana means face mm-hmm. so agaja anana is agajanana parvati's face now parvati. after you say agajanana agajanana padma padma means lotus so lotus face of parvati okay and then arka is sun so the one who is like the sun for the lotus face of parvati so that's how you kind of work your way into decoding the meaning of any compound word is from the right to left <clears throat> starting from the right to it left it can be right to left sometimes it can be left to right sometimes it can be split in the middle also there are numerous ways of doing it we Most will right. right to left yeah yeah so there is a section on this which you will learn at the fourth level of sams uh, sanskrit marathi which is at uh, kovida level so there's a whole oh. lot of learning we do before that and finally we come to this concept of samasta padams when we learn it in kovida level most of the time the decoding of compound words are contextual it can change yeah then comes gajanana mahanisham so gajanana mahanisham yeah uh, maharnisham is uh, aharnisham is day and light yeah and, because uh, aha means day aha ha means day nisha comes nisha night right so aha ha and nisha day and night gajananam is to that gajanana so it, it is an objective clause that's why it's gajananam okay his name is gajanana ha but we call him gajananam because it is in the object it's 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 an object i mean if you look at subject and object right so it's object yes, to that yes, gajanana vidya vidya vidhi everybody yeah i'm not getting into it because i've not been covered i didn't want to confuse anyone who's probably you know doing the course for the first time and then so, anekadam yeah would you like to attend anekadam yeah uh, we worship him in the day and night no gajananam maharnisham the one who's worship day and night yeah yeah day and night yeah anekadam uh, aneka is a variety many. more many and dam dam is from da dhatu dhatu yes da dhatu da is to give da to is give. to give so dam the one who gives many things so whatever you ask mm. in my language da is also to give uh, really dam, oh wow <laughs> da da daniel we have this da uh, oh, tam wow. <laughs> uh bhakta naam uh, bhakta naam is uh, of the devotee bhakta yes. naam devotees of the devotees yes devotees ekadantam upasmahe we meditate on the one who uh, who has only one task yes single task yes, ekadantam upasmahe you will learn this yeah upasmahe you will learn this uh, that so you have words like upasana which are more familiar in hindi as well as sanskritam uh, which means to kind of uh, you know worship or do seva and stuff like that dhanyavad hai and mari ji it's a very good attempt so in your pravesha exam all you will need to do is the shloka will be given and you need to write the meaning in english that's all you need to do it is usually for i think two marks if i'm not mistaken one or two marks that's all it will be yeah the next one who would like to attempt the next one okay i see lots of hands now padma ji would you like to attempt it am bagni vadattu vakratunda mahakaya koti surya samaprabha nirvignam kurume deva sarva karyeshu sarvada yeah. so it is prabha it is prabha because you are addressing him it's so it, it um, wouldn't be prabha it would be prabha because it's a sambodhana dhanyavad vakratunda one who is having a, a um, curved uh, um, tundam mm. tundam is trunk 
ట్రంక్ పక్రతుండ మహాకాయ హ్యావింగ్ హెవీ బాడీ వన్ హూ ఈస్ హ్యావింగ్ హెవీ బాడీ కోటి సూర్య సమప్రభ ద పర్సన్ హూ ఈస్ ప్రకాశ not prabha uh-huh. when you say prabha you are yeah. converting it yeah. into a strilinga padam mm. which would be incorrect because koti yeah. surya samaprabha is the word mm. and samaprabha is sambodhana mm. i intend mm. prabha only but it is uh, coming like mm. prabha i think acha all right all right mm. 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 koti surya samaprabha that mm. means uh, the uh, the one who is uh, having the prakasha of uh, mm. Surya's equal yeah. to Koti Surya's. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. 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 Nirvignam Kuru Me Deva. Nirvignam mm. make, make um, remove all the obstacles. Correct. Uh, Sarva Karyeshu Sarvada. Mm. In all my um, yeah. activities and mm. always. మమ సర్వ కార్యేషో సర్వదా నిర్విఘ్నం కురు ఇన్ ఆల్ మై యాక్షన్స్ మేక్ నిర్విఘ్నం వెరీ బ్యూటిఫుల్ ప్రేయర్ నో ధన్యవాద పద్మాజీ వీ విల్ షుడ్ బి కవర్ చతురకాక వెరీ క్విక్లీ ఆర్ షుడ్ వి క్లోజ్ ఫర్ ద డే ఐ థింక్ వీ షుడ్ స్టాప్ హియర్ బికాస్ ఇట్స్ ఆల్రెడీ అన్ ఆర్ వీ క్రాస్ అన్ ఆర్ I'll just see if there are any questions and we will do the Chatura Kaka. There are just three questions, but we will take it in the next class. Yappara had a doubt in the use of Vibhakti sentence construction. I'm a student and in our school, they are teaching Vibhakti. What is your specific doubt, Para? Can you unmute yourself and ask me? Excuse me, mom. Ah, ask. Mm. Uh, mom, I'm, I'm asking that like, in the sentence when we use the vibhaktis so ma'am mm-hmm. like uh, for example uh, we need to say like balakah uh, dash kriyati uh, and we need to fill kundake uh, kandukin or uh, kandukah so ma'am how to decide which will come okay uh, multiple ways to understand that బాలకహ క్రీడతి ఇస్ యోర్ మెయిన్ సెంటెన్స్ మెయిన్ క్లాస్ కరెక్ట్ సో హూ ఇస్ ద డూవర్ కర్త బాలక ఇస్ ద కర్త కరెక్ట్ కరెక్ట్ బికాస్ ద క్రియా పదం దట్ ఇస్ క్రీడతి ద రూల్ ఇస్ దట్ ద క్రీడతి క్రియా పదం విల్ ఆల్వేస్ 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 ఫాలో ద కర్త ఓకే point number 1 so which means that kridati can be in eka vachanam only when the karta is in eka vachanam yes ma'am okay there may be many other words in many different vachanas in the sentence doesn't matter karta is in eka vachanam your kriya padam will be in eka vachanam understood that yes ma'am ha <coughs> huh. so when you say kridati you have already connected balakah and kridati first step yes ma'am once you have connected the karta to the kriya padam no other word in the sentence is allowed to be in prathama vibhakti only the karta can be in prathama vibhakti nobody else can be in prathama vibhakti in any sentence Yeah, it's a okay. standard rule in any book or any grantha in sanskritam you take only kartra padam will be in prathama vibhakti okay. so kandukah is in prathama vibhakti automatically it will have to go to either dvitiya or tritiya yes ma it cannot be in prathama vibhakti yes ma okay now when you say in english how do you say boy plays with the ball you understood with the ball that's how you say in english right yes ma'am mm-hmm. like for example balakah pushpam pashyati so pushpam he is looking at the flower yes ma'am the so, pushpam is in dvitiya vibhakti but balakah kandukam kriyati 
Balakaha kandu kena kredati. You tell me what makes better sense. Balakaha kandu kena kredati. Yes. Why? Because he has to play with the ball, right? Yes, ma. See, if you are saying balakaha cricket kridam kredati, cricket the game of cricket. Okay. Yes, ma. So krida means game, right? But krida is a strilling apadam. So balakaha cricket kridam kredati. Then cricket kridam can mean the third vibhuti. But balaka kandu kam kridati. No, then it will be kandu kena because you have to play with the ball. The ball doesn't play itself, right? Yes, ma'am. So if it is cricket krida, then baluka balaka ha cricket kridam kridati will be in the third vibhuti. But when he is playing with the ball, in English you use the word with. So balaka ha kandu kena kridati will be a More accurate sentence. Okay. Is it clear? Yes, ma'am. Hmm? Thank you, ma'am. Most welcome. So we will not elaborate on this. What I have asked her is to what I have answered. Para uh, Bagini is completely out of context. We will be doing vibhutis at a much later stage. So please wait for it. Does Prabha mean Gajanana? Where is the word Gajanana in the second shloka? Chaya ji, uh, can you ident? Uh, can you uh, unmute yourself? Let me just see. In the second shloka, you are saying yes. in Vakatunda. It says, "Oh Lord, elephant-faced one." No, or like from where is that word "elephant-faced" in this uh, in this shloka? Ah, it is not there. It is not there. It is not there. But 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 in the animal kingdom. The only animal with a trunk is the elephant. Okay. There is no other animal which has a trunk. Not that I remember. I mean, my knowledge of zoology is certainly limited, but I don't think there is any other animal which has a trunk. Okay. Therefore, yes, the deduction is the elephant face. In the book, it is mentioned Gajanana instead of elephant face. It is mentioned Gajanana. In the text, where uh, oh Lord Gajanana, because it is yes. a it is a distinct to Ganesha. That is why. That's all. Okay. And this that uh, is why we have written Gajanana. Hmm. Hmm. What is the what is this Sama Prabha? Sama. See the word Sama has many 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 connotations in. Sanskrit Bhasha. Okay, summer will be when you are going with somebody. Saha summer, you can use that. There are many contexts, so you have to understand the meaning contextually. Point number one. Okay, with that disclaimer in the background, summer is also summum. Tulna. Tulna is when you are comparing. So you are comparing the radiance. Prabha, pra, pra is you know. Enhancing the word bha, bha is bhasati uh, to radiate the brilliance. Okay, so when you say sama prabha, you are saying kote surya nam yat prabha asti tasya prabha yaha sama Ganesha sya prabha asti. You got the con concept of this particular why this word has been constructed. Yes, the brilliance word, of word. yeah. Sorry. Koti Surya Sama Prabha. It is a one word, right? Or it is a single word. Single word. Samasta Padam. You cannot it break is... it in the middle. You okay. have to put a continuous line for that word. Okay. Which so you said it is a sambodhan, no? So that is. A... I said sambodhan because the word is Koti Surya Sama Prabha Gajanana. It is an okay. adjective to Gajanana. Or okay. Ganesha, Ganapati, or however you would like to call him, it's an okay. adjective. Okay. And then it is an akaranta, pulling a shabda, so it goes. So we are again going a little out of context, yeah. but it is in sambodana because you're calling him that. Vakratunda is also sambodana. Hey Vakratunda, hey Mahakaya, hey Koti Surya Samaprabha. You are talking okay. to him. Hey, Deva! All okay. of these Vakratunda, Mahakaya, and Koti Suri Samaprabha are all adjectives to the word Deva, because you are calling him Deva. There is, if it was Deva, then the God. Yes. 
Thanks oh God is Sambodhana. Hey Deva. So the Visarga is gone. There is no Visarga. Like Ramaha and Hey Rama. You will learn about it when you learn. Yes. This. Thanks a lot. You uh, have uh, clarified a lot of my doubts. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I have a question with respect to Sainikaha. Priya Darshini ji. Please ask. Namaste, Bhagini. In the, Namaste. In, in the class, uh, uh, we saw that Sainikaha, Sri Linga Shabdam Sainiki. Uh, I, I was uh, learning that Sainikaha Sainika in spoken Sanskrit. So, I where did you learn Sainikaha and Sainika? Uh, Kiran Bhatt Mahodia's class. Sainikaha, Sainika. There is a possibility that certain words will take the top as well as the ni uh, pratyayas. Sorry, I'm talking totally Greek and Latin. I <laughs> am extremely sorry for it. But there are certain words. Like, for example, there is this word sundara. Okay. Sundara means beautiful. Hmm? Now, what is interesting about the word sundara is when you're qualifying a girl, you can call her Sundari Balika, you can call her Sundara Balika. Both are correct. Both are correct? Sundara yes. Balika. Sundara Balika is also correct. Sundari Balika is also correct. So, there are certain words which can take A and get converted to a Strilinga. There are certain words which can take E and get converted to a Strilinga. There are certain words which take both and get converted because that is how the Ruda Prayoga has been. So when there is a Ruda Prayoga, then there is a rule which will allow that Ruda Prayoga. So probably there is Sainika and Sainiki both exist. There could be a possibility. I will have to check with my teachers uh, okay. about it. But if he has, if Kiran Bhatt Mahodai has told you, I he's quite knowledgeable. I do, uh, I do know him. Uh, it is definitely possible that this particular word, Sainika Pratipadikam, would take both. It's quite possible. Happens. I mean, it's very common. Like, most common example I told you is for this Sundara word. So, it's possible. Maybe there is Sainika also and Sainiki also. Okay. Oh, quite possible. Thank you so much. And most have... welcome. Any other doubts, please feel free to I ask. One, person, one more question. Can I ask? Yes. Yeah. Since you mentioned about the adjectives, uh, Sundara Sundari, I have one question. It's related to the Shukla. Uh, it's coming uh, in, you know, it is like I have a very, very, I don't understand that why it is coming like this. Shukla means in the Shukla, Shukla, Shuklam. That's how it comes. Masculine, yeah. feminine. So here yeah. in the Shlokam, Sami Vasadu Jihvaya. Vina Pustaka Dharini Vidha Truvalla Bhadevi Sarva Shukla Saraswati. Here we say Sarva Shukla. Shukla. She's being called as Shukla. Ah. The Shukla. white. Shukla means white or fair. So you are calling her as Shukla. Same thing if it is coming with the Ambaram, it should be like Shukla. Um, Shuklam, right? Ah, uh, no. <laughs> there, there are a different set of rules that come. Shuklam, Shuklam, Baradaram, Shukla plus yeah. Ambara, Shuklam, Bara. Don't get there at this point of time. So, I, at I was Pravesha just... level, I would ask you to hold those thoughts. Um, we need to take one bite at a time. That's uh, the. Because what happens is when you kind of uh, jump concepts, you will end up getting con uh, confused. Okay. So just wait for it. We will be covering it slowly. There is some which you will understand in Pravesha. There is some more which you will understand in Parichaya. And then, of course, Shiksha and Kavita also. So just wait for it. That's my that's my answer. Uh, don't get into it. How is the word Shukla uh, coined itself uh, is a different uh, this thing. So I'm not getting there. Yeah, Shukla Paradaram, there it's like it comes as Shukla. So no, it doesn't come as Shukla. It doesn't come as Shukla. It is Shukla Ambaram. Shukla Ambaram. Shukla Ambaram. Why that happens is because there are rules which cover it. Like I said, out of scope of Pravesha. At this, wait for it. <laughs> I understand the excitement, but uh, we need to take one step at a time. Okay. 
there is a reason what i can tell you at this point of time is certainly there's a very logical reason for it it will come to you just just wait for it okay. yeah then because uh, you might kind of take a wrong this thing and when you learn something wrong then unlearning it becomes a bigger problem so that's why i'm saying just wait for it we it will be it will be covered I will close the class today because we've really short on time. I have twenty-three questions. Let me just see if there are any which are con connect to. I have actually finished Chaturanga Kakha, right? And I didn't. But it was also important to answer questions. Yes, yes, yes. WhatsApp reminder. Thank you, thank you, thank you. How many stages are there? Para, there are four stages in Sanskrit Bharati, but then there are I don't know how many stages. in terms of learning sanskrit bhasha and um, but sanskrit bharati has four levels okay what i had to remind you was that there is a whatsapp group that has been created by uh, a very uh, enthusiastic and kind volunteer who has come forward thomas mahode he has been pushing for this whatsapp group for a very long time so i think he's also created the whatsapp group already uh, in which uh, which all of you can join uh, unfortunately i have not been able to figure out how to put that link in the ppt today so uh, i will have that uh, what i can do is on monday i will put the link to the whatsapp group i'll ask the vyoma team if we can put the link to the whatsapp group on um on the course page let's see if we can put it on the course page uh that would be one option uh so that you can copy the link from there and put it uh i haven't been able to uh copy it and paste it here i have not been able to figure that out uh let me just see just give me a minute please uh i don't know if uh, mahode is there in class here uh i'd request everyone to lower your hands uh, so that uh, only if thomas mahode is there then only thomas mahode needs to raise his hand chaya ji lower your hand please please keep all your hands lowered thomas mahode if you are there then kindly raise your hand Yes, uh, Thomas Mohode. Uh, would you be able to read out the link? For sure, I can. Uh, let me go back to that. Uh, I am not. A, I can't figure out how to copy it and put it there. Are you able to put it in the chat box so that uh, everyone? Can... Let me just see. Let me just see how to do that. Just give me a minute because I have to jump windows. and okay. that is going to because loading whatsapp on the system is going to take a long time let me see let me just see if i can put it on the chat one second i i will need a couple of minutes extra kindly bear with me it's we have really over short time but uh, let me just see how to do that loading whatsapp is going to take time would it be possible thomas ji for you to uh, paste it in the q and a for me for sure yeah then i will because by the time my whatsapp gets loaded onto the system this yeah. might just be quick up yeah yeah absolutely so i will just create a in the screen share i will just uh, i will just create a page and i will put it here then Okay. Uh, why is it that I can't? Q In the Q and A, doesn't... not the chat box, the Q and A. Yeah, Q and A. But now I can't type any questions. As who can see your questions? If your question is selected, oh. Yeah, are you? To... You've written a question here. Are you able to Before, paste in chat? But, yeah, but now when I go to Q and A, it's not mm -hmm. letting me. 
it's not letting me type anything. It says, who can see your questions when I, and it, uh, why is that? Oh, uh, sure, sure, sure. Yeah, I got it. I got it. Huh. Sorry. Yeah, I sent it. Yeah, so if you put it in the q and I'll just yeah, quickly I, paste I, I, it out to you. I've done that. Yes, I got it. Thank you. Okay. So copy and paste it. So for those of you, uh, I'll just paste the. Why isn't it pasting now? Yeah. Yeah. So this is the link to the WhatsApp group uh, that has been created by Thomas Mahoday uh, for uh, all the. Uh, students of Pravesha. So I'd request you to uh, all of you to note this down and uh, I will keep this slide uh, in the in the uh, PPT link. To... Is it not typing? Yeah, so there is a link that has been created by one of our uh, student members. Uh, thank you very much. And uh, yes, I have, it is shared in the chat, bo chat box. No, I don't even yeah. see the chat box here. That's the, oh yeah, I saw it finally. So I have also pasted the link in the chat box for those who want to uh, copy it from there. And it. I will keep this slide on uh when we share the slide so that uh, you can go on to whatsapp and uh, join the pravesha link there will be a uh, certain uh, rules that we have to follow no forwards absolutely we're going to be extremely strict about that the whatsapp group is created primarily with the objective of clarifying doubts pertaining to pravesha so we have to be very strict about it uh, do not forward anything uh, link will be there in the PPT when I share the PPT when it's uploaded Kavita ji don't worry about it you can see it on the screen right now it's uh, Thomas ji is my screen available is my screen visible yes it is however yeah, so uh, I think everybody I can look at yeah yeah uh, the, the only issue I think is you, uh, from the PPT we won't be able to click it uh but if it's they can on... type it out they they will yes. be able to still type it out uh yeah. i mean uh, that's 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 one way of doing it uh let me see if i can post it in the chat once again i don't know yes i've posted it in the chat it is there in the chat and it is also there in the q a section it's there the in the q a once again. sorry chat seems to be disabled oh is it i, I have yeah. absolutely chat no clue how to is it okay? I have no so clue how to enable it. <laughs> so uh, it's there in the Q and A section. Thomas G has put it. Uh, I hope you are able to see that. Otherwise, it's on the screen. Uh, we will just have to follow the painstaking procedure of typing each of these uh, alpha numerical uh, things. That's all I think. So this is the group. Uh, we will try and see how we can mail it. Uh, I'll let me just uh, you know uh, check with the Vyoma team and come back to you. I'll need a week's time to uh, figure this out. So we will close for the day now. Sarve bhavantu sukhina ha, sarve santu niramaya ha, sarve bhadrani pashyantu ma kashchid dukha bhag bhave. Om shanti shanti shanti. Om Shri Guru Bhyona Maha. Hari Om. धन्यवादाह धन्यवादाह बंदी श्वाह कक्षा अस्ति देर इज अ क्लास टुमारो एंड वी शेल मीट ऑन नेक्स्ट सैटरडे विद द न्यू सेट ऑफ अभ्यासस प्लीज रिवाइज लेसन वन एंड लेसन टू दैट्स माय रिक्वेस्ट टू ऑल ऑफ यू धन्यवाद it it's becoming so interesting nowadays the, attending the class probably I I we, I wish we had the class uh, every alternate day or anything धन्यवाद <laughs>